what is going on guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to pretty much be going over how you can create and add mobile controls into your game so let's get started so I have this empty template here and so I'm actually going to kind of we're just going to kind of go through this from the start so if you already have a game going no worries let's just just try to add on to it as best as you can so first thing this cat right here will be our player so we don't need to do anything with the player right now but we do need to create a new sprite and let's actually call it uh let's see here move right so pretty much let's say we have a platformer right and so we want our guy to move right and left and probably jump a bit as well so we are going to create some buttons so let's see here i'm just going to do something like this we're going to have a little circle uh i could i could make a try to draw an arrow but i'm not very good at drawing so i might do something like this actually no i'll just do this and yeah so kind of design your your button real quick all right, there we go. Okay. There we go. Not terrible. Except for it is not centered at all, which is kind of weird actually. So there we go. We now have our move right button. And so I would probably say have your moving like your little right left arrows over here. And then maybe have your jump on this side but it's completely up to you and what your preferences are so we have this here and so now what we can do is be like all right the flag is clicked and we'll say forever if all right and then we will put an and block here and we will be like touching mouse pointer and mouse down so in the end this is pretty much close to uh, when this sprite is clicked because it is detecting if it is touching the mouse and mouse is down so like this and so that will call this here but the reason we are actually using this instead of this is because this is a forever and and inside of the forever loop it'll be much more smooth than simply calling this every single time that we hold it down so it'll be much smoother and let's say maybe broadcast move right so now we will move right and so let's say this uh, when I receive move right we could say change X by 10 let's see so let's start Ooh, all right so it's smooth for the most part it's a little choppy there so that's something that we can actually fix so here's what we could do we could say this we could be if touching mouse pointer and mouse down we can set let's create a variable and call it move right and so we will set move right to true so I would just do T for true and else we will set move right to false and we can get rid of this here and so actually what we will do is this when flag is clicked forever and we'll say if move right is true so let's get an equals so if move right is true and uh, we will say change x by 10 so let's see how that goes now oh okay so it'll it, it looks the same I cannot I can't actually tell if that has something to do with me if it has something to do with lag on my part or if it's just the script itself it, sh it should should be the same though and so actually honestly yeah we could do something like this I think we would go back to this I'll do this so let's go back here and be like yo and then move right I spelled that wrong 
Alright, so we don't need this move right variable. I think it was just lagging on my part. And then be like, okay, when I receive move right, change x by 10. Because it does look the same. It does pretty much look the exact same. Uh, if you f happen to find a better way um, or smoother way, uh, let me know. But as you can see, it's kind of lagging on my part, so I think that's the issue. Um, and so now we can actually duplicate this thing, and I'm actually going to put it... Let's see, it's at minus 148. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually flip it horizontally. That way it points left. And so now we can actually broadcast move right. Oh, okay. Here we go again. Move left. I apologize, guys. Actually, we need it to move left instead of right. <laughs> All right. And I'm actually going to call this move left, move left. And so you can do the exact same here. And you can be like, all right, when I receive move left, and we will change it by negative 10. And so there we go. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Now, let's say we have something and we want it to jump. So we can do something like this and maybe do this. Ta-da. There we go. And then I'm going to try to center that as best as I can. And I'm going to put it over here. Ah. There we go. Because they'll have they'll have their, their left thumb here. And they'll be like tapping in the way they want. And then they can use their right thumb and press up. And so actually let's edit the code here. One sec. Move or jump. And so... We can do this. We can be like, jump. We'll broadcast jump. And this isn't going to be a like, super smooth jumping script. Uh, it's not going to have like variables or velocity and like kind of slow down and then go back. It's just going to be like, whoop. So I can be like, when I receive jump, and we'll do something like this. Uh, I also do not recommend you using this as your main jump script. Like this code right here. I don't recommend this being your animation. But we can do this. So let's see. Woo. There we go. Yeah. So as you can see, there are some issues. And so for something like this, I think what we could do is instead we could be like when this sprite is clicked, because we're not trying to call it every frame. You know, which is what the forever will do. It will pretty much be called every frame. We only want it to do it once while we press it. So it can be like, when this sprite is clicked, let's broadcast jump. And then wait until not touching mouse pointer. So not, and then touching mouse pointer. So what it'll do is, it'll jump. And then it will stop jumping until we aren't touching it anymore so if we go out here and we go here and I'm like awesome here we go <gasps> wow wow there we go there we go and then I'm like jump jump okay well that that still happens but that's besides the point you guys you guys can have your own jumping scripts inside of there as long as the principles are the same so like you know the same thing here so that is pretty much how you can add some basic mobile controls. Uh, you guys let me know what other tutorials you would like to see. Because I would love to help you guys. And that will actually be it for today's video. Bye.